Hello everybody and welcome back to Agrarian Skies where as you can see we have a lot of stuff and we need to get that sorted out. So um, I recently did a live stream and I decided if we get five, no, no, if we can get 20 likes, not 20 likes, if we can get 10 likes on this video, I'll post the live stream footage up. So you can see how I got all this, but I'm still going to give you a real quick recap to let you know what we did. We got two stone barrels, and these are used to turn uh, lava into obsidian just by pouring water on top of them. I moved the crucible over here, I went ahead, got the vacuum hopper built, and I started getting some item conduits, and then I had some bad lag, so this was over here. We still have to place all this stuff, still have to get a crescent hammer, which is actually what we are going to focus on today. We got the food all worked on still. Um, if we come around back, I don't think much has changed around here. Still just have the cobblestone generator. Still so fancy. Um, and yeah, I think that's about all that happened. But I was trying to get the supplies we needed to get a crescent hammer, and then the lag was so bad it crashed my stream. And so I, we're just gonna go ahead, grind out the rest of this. Turn that into sand. Sand. You can crush the sand into dust. And this is just going to get us what we need to make the crescent hammer. So let's go ahead and craft that tin ore dust. Some pulverized iron dust. And throw it away into here. Let's throw that there. That should not go there. That pickaxe shouldn't be there. Uh, but that crushed tin does go there. And I think that's it. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to throw this in there along with the oak wood plank. I also made a watering can so that way I wouldn't have to keep wasting bone meal. Although I have so many bones at this point, I don't think it matters that much. But, you know, why not, really? Then let me throw in this here. And we'll go ahead and get all this smelted up. So that way we have what we need to make a crescent hammer right here, which is just three pieces of iron and a tin. So let's go ahead, we'll throw in a few more saplings just so we don't cut this out halfway through the crafting process. And we're almost done. Perfect. There we go. And we have a crescent hammer. Now this is like the universal hammer for this mod. It lets us go ahead and pick stuff up. I'm actually gonna pop up here, put that there, and then we're gonna move this in. And I believe we can even change this. Oops. There. And there. I happen to have a lever up there that I can grab. And now I can do this. And it should start exporting stuff. See? So fancy. Start sorting that all out into here, I believe. That's how this works. Out. Maybe not. Is that not how this works? I thought it was. Let's go ahead and make another lever real fast. After we grab a... I have an axe. Pickaxe. Yes, I also made an axe. I'm not sure. I think I did that on stream. I either did it on stream or off camera. So, yes, axe has been made to replace the one I lost when I died. There we go. So now those are both powered. And they should be... Do we have to change this to... Oops. Export there. That's what we have to do. What about changing the bottom? There. Is this exporting? Uh, yes, it exported all the stuff it could. Ta-da! Now we have all that done. So we no longer have to worry about getting all sorts of stuff piled up. I can even go ahead and throw out this stuff, and it should be auto-sorted for us. Right? Yep, it is getting sorted. Slowly but surely. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and grind for the other things we need to make item ducks. Which, let me just... Show that recipe real fast. Uh, we use this one, so I just need you just need one lead and two tin. 
the minute it makes a duct that then you can move. So then this, we still have to get all that sorted out. Um, probably check for any mob drops through here. But I'll go ahead and get that done real fast, and then I'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. I went ahead and sorted all this stuff, and I figured now is a great time to sort through all the spoils we got. Spoils of war. Plenty. Ooh, diamond! I found a diamond! I found the diamond with my hand, my hand. Ta-da! So we got plenty of stuff. Uh, we have lots of lead. We only need four of that. Do we have enough tin? We don't. So, I'm back to the sifting grind, but... Ooh, so fancy. Um, we'll go ahead and change out this. And then I'll be back onto the sifting grind. But, um, hopefully I will be back in just a minute or... Two, well, a few seconds for you. A few minutes for me. But I do need to find enough tin to get another set of item conduits. Or item ducks, or whatever it's called. And then we can even just do that, and it'll take care of it, because this is wonderful. So yeah, I'll be back in a minute, guys. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Whoa! Oh, hey, buddy. Hello. Let's go kill all these things. Oh! Ow! No. Rude, sir. Rude. Come here. All of you, come here. I'm here. There we go. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and hook up these last two things. Now, the way these item ducks work is blue means that it is importing. So these should be starting to export. And as you see, blue's import or brings in, put into a barrel. Red is pull out. So this red thing, the red items are being pulled out and slowly passed along here until they go into wherever they fit with these barrels. Now, since I lock the barrels with a shift right click, oops, let me go right here, shift right click with an empty hand. Um, let me get rid of some stuff. There we go. Okay, if I shift right click with an empty hand, there we go. With an empty hand, it unlocks the barrel and that little lock icon disappears. When it's locked, the only items that are allowed to go in are bones, in this case, or all the other things here. And then with this, let's go ahead uh, hide the overlay. Um, now, once all this stuff, none of this still goes to any of the current rooms, or not rooms, barrels that are currently active. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw it all in here for the time being. There we go. Okay, so see here, we just were about to get... We just got some rotten flesh. It flashed in there, and then it got immediately pulled out, and we should see shortly, this goes up from 59 to 61. There you go, see? So that's the at its core how this works, and then all the other items that can't be sorted go into... well, nowhere. Um, yet, which is what we're going to set up right now. Um, currently, all the items just kind of pile up in the vacuum hopper, but we're just going to go ahead and set this chest here, hook up a uh, item duct, and now it will filter through all of them. It'll start here and slowly pass through. If it isn't gunpowder, it won't go there. If it isn't bones, it won't go there. All the way until oops, everything that's left will filter in here, and it's very slow just because that's how these ones are. Um, don't know what more to tell you other than that's the way it is, that they will be slow. So I think that we can call this mob grinder, um, at least for the moment, a build complete. We will return once we get more infrastructure stuff, because uh, there's some cool other things we can add to this build to make it functional um, after it's been here a lot longer. But yeah. See, now you get these things starting to drain down here. And they'll automatically be sorted and placed in there. Which is awesome. Cool. So, I think we're going to go ahead and take a peek at our quest book. And we have two lives. Ooh, one quest with unclaimed rewards. I bet you it's this one. Yep. 
There we go, and we can finally get this half a heart. And we'll well, might as well condense those. So let's go ahead and do that. We have a full heart. And there we go, now we have half hearts. We have one half heart and a full heart. So let's go ahead. There we go, three lives remaining. What, what? Let's go ahead and get rid of the string. And whoom! Oh, that's so cool. And spider eye. Whoom! Such awesomeness. Okay, and there's gunpowder as well. My, 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 I had to get rid of a lot of stuff. Um, but now we can go ahead and start looking at all this other stuff. Dust in the Wind is done. Um, we have so many quests open. I think we're going to do the smelting one. I think that's our next step to being able to do some cool stuff. Your first ore processing will be done using a smeltery from Tinker's Construct. You should have a book in your inventory titled Materials in Me. Materials in You is what it says. This book will help you learn how to use Tinker's Construct. There are two other books in this series that will magically port into your hand from M. Dio's library when this... Oops. Oops. When you complete certain tasks, they will explain how to build the smeltery and how to make alloys and powerful personalized tools. To get started, you will need to make grout from clay, gravel, and sand. Lava can be moved into smeltery using a clay bucket. So, where is materials in you? Right there. By Skyla. This is all basic stuff. Um, but this is what we want. Grout. Our recipe for grout is sand, gravel, and clay. So, that's what we're going to be focusing on real fast. We can make books this way, which is nice. Um, and so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and run around to here. And really fastly, really quickly, I'm just going to show you the process needed to get some grout. Oops. Okay, so we have, oh, we have a bunch of gravel. So now we can come up here with this gravel, and we're going to turn, let me actually grab one more, then I'll have an even number and this will work perfectly. There we go. Ten. Uh, I need eleven. Haha. -ha, there we go. Eleven gravel. Now we take down and we place six of it down. And we go ahead and we break this all into sand. Then we take one sand. And we break it into clay. And we take the... Or not clay. Dust. Where's our dust? Dust? Oh, we have a bunch of dust. Haha. -ha, didn't need to do that. But... Now we take this dust, and we put it in here, and we get some clay out. And we're going to do it again, just so that way we have plenty of clay. Then we take the clay, place that out, and break it. Now we can come up into here, open up our crafting window, and go grout. Let there be grout. And now we have ten grout, which we can then take up, throw into here. Let me just grab one piece of coal. And put it in here. And time swap. swap. Ta da! We now have four seared bricks, which then you combine to get a seared brick. And now we have mighty smelting. Which, go ahead, read all this. Page one, blah. Page two, pause the video here if you want to read it. Page three, page four. Page 5, page 6, there's that, how to form a cast, and then now we have a bunch of recipes that we can need. Ooh, what's this? The casting channel. Huh. Didn't know that was a thing. Ooh, brownstone. Ooh, some of this stuff is things that I never, never knew about. Glue. Oh, you can make... Oh, so you can do this without end stone without ever having to go to the end. Um, but there's all our stuff. Mostly a bunch of recipes. This will be something that we will definitely need later on, but at the moment we don't have much use for. Now, uh, we need to decide where we want to put the smeltery. Um, I think as we're getting to the point where our island kind of needs to get bigger if we want to do much of anything else. Yeah, I think that's what's going to have to happen. Sadly. Um, but yeah, I think... We can go ahead and get rid of that. Um, let's go ahead and take a peek at quest book really fast. What we need to get, now we have to get a casting table, faucet, smeltery drain, smeltery controller, smel seared tank, and then we'll get the stuff that we need to basically finish up our um, smeltery, I think. I think that should be plenty of what we need. 
Um, let's go ahead and take a look in somewhere else here. See if there's anything for the hoarding. Yes, let's do this. So we have to do a structure mark one. MK. Mark one, what does this need? Oh, this is so easy. And it allows me to show off the functions of the watering can. For those of you that don't know, the watering can acts as some very special bone meal. You basically right click and it simulates growth ticks. So this will work on things that bone meal won't even work on, like sugar cane or ender, um, um, ender lily seeds, if you have any of those, or other things like that. So, come on, don't make a liar out of me. Can you not grow? No! Oh! Oh, that scared me really bad. Don't make a liar out of me. Ah, there we go. See? That happens. And now you have a lovely tree. Then you can just take your axe, your axe, and you can go ahead and chop it down. Just like this. See? You can copy me this time. It's okay. Don't worry. I'll just go ahead and chop it down. Chop, 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 Tree chop, and goodness, I need to get at least one sapling from this. Come on. Ah, yes, I also made a bone crook on stream. Don't worry, you didn't miss too much off if you didn't show up for the stream. You just missed a lot of grindiness and then a little bit of interesting stuff. Okay, we can come back later, see if that's there. But now we can go ahead and make a. do some crafting. Get this, make some sticks. Some sticks. Craft. Craft a fence. Oh, we need more sticks. Rats. Oh well. There we go. Do that. Put in this wood. And the fences. Ta-da! And we have a structural Mark I upgrade for barrels. It basically gives us an upgrade slot. I'm not so much... Never had a use for the upgrade things from Java. Um, never really been an issue for me. I know. Whoa! Pistons! We need redstone and iron or aluminum. Okay. That is definitely something... Let's see, I have not gotten any redstone. You can get that by sieving dust, though. Let's see. Are we going to get any? Here. That would be absolutely perfect. Oh! So lucky, yeah. Yeah, Becky, so lucky. But, um, sadly, it's only one. So I think, really fast, I will go ahead and... Uh, we'll go put that away somewhere else. We can throw that in there, that in there. Uh, QQ. Get rid of that for me. Thank you. Any more wood? Yep. And some saplings. Okay. Um, now I think we can go ahead. I'm gonna cut real fast while I work on getting some more redstone. And then we can even... We'll get that other thing and we'll finish that quest this episode even. Welcome back. Wait, what? Ah, welcome back, guys, to Piston Making Central, where we just got a storage upgrade. What, what? Where's the book? There it is. We can now complete this detection task, and we get a reward bag. We'll take this one. And inventory management is starting to become a real issue, so we might work on that next episode. I think that is what we'll do. And I got a one of those gigantic trees that has branches everywhere and they're a pain to try to chop down so I decided I will just do it later so yeah full heart we're at four lives now oh yeah we are so good ooh digital storage ME is the next oh yeah pretty soon you're going to need even more storage and crafting ability applied energistics allows you to turn blocks and items into code stored on storage drives and access these digital items to craft Storage buttons can be used to hook external storage devices, such as barrels, into the central crafting computer. So we need a drive, a controller, a crafting terminal, a 1K storage cell, and a precision import bus, and a precision, oh, a precision export, and a precision import bus. Let's see. 
Now, it has been forever since I played with Applied Energistics 1. I'm much more familiar with Applied Energistics 2, but I do know the basics. And that it's going to require silicon. How do you get silicon? Melting quartz. How do we get quartz? Okay. Ah, from sifting dust. Okay, it looks like dust. I'm going to have to sift a bunch of dust. And I really... I don't like sifting. So I think next episode, we're going to work on storage problems. Maybe. That might end up... Uh-oh. Uh, F7... Okay, we're still safe. I think. Okay, hang on. Let me break this. Do F7. Okay. Put up the torch. There we go. And now we're good. Okay. Um. Uh, yes, next episode we should be starting up... Nope, nope, nope. Creeper. How did a creeper live? Probably fell on something, if that's possible. Okay, so there we go. Next episode, we will work on getting better storage. We might end up working on food a little bit. Although, I think this monster jerky is working just fine. We're producing more than we're eating, which is good. Um, I haven't been harvesting it in a while just because we had so much of it. But I think we're going to automate the creation and gathering of stuff using a um, autonomous activator. Which, oh boy... What about a terrain smasher? What does that require? Okay, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. We will definitely be a lot later down the line if we want to do that. Because I have one diamond. What about diamonds? Is there a way to craft them? Don't tell tell me there is, please. Please. Bees. What's this? Oh, bees. Oh boy, smelting. Looks like bees it is. That's a 1% chance from gravel. So theoretically, if we sift 100 gravel, we'll get that. So yeah, um, I will see you guys in the next one. Remember, if you want to have us... If you want to see a full copy of the live stream, make sure to hit that like button, and we can see about getting it thrown up on YouTube. But otherwise, um, I'm going to take this opportunity to say thank you all for watching. Um, and I will see you in-game next time. Bye!